Today we're going to be doing a full body stretch. So we're going to be holding certain postures for a little bit longer than normal. We're going to be moving really slowly, nothing too crazy. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, it's Alex. Thank you so much for coming back and doing my Yoga for Flexibility series. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started sitting in a cross-legged position in the center of your mat. I want you to put your left hand over your heart, your right hand over your stomach. We're just gonna start by tuning into ourselves, taking a couple deep breaths. So go ahead and close your eyes. You're gonna take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale. Push your stomach out, sending that energy down to the base of your spine. Good, inhale through the nose. And exhale. Sending oxygen throughout your entire body. Good, again, take a big deep inhale. And exhale, just centering ourselves here. Getting ready to start this practice. Good, and again, inhale. And exhale, you can roll your shoulders back, tuning into your breath, slowing down your heart rate. Take a big inhale. And exhale. Let's do it one more time. Take a really big deep inhale here. And exhale. Sending oxygen throughout your entire body, waking up the muscles a little bit. Good, from here you can start to open your eyes. We're gonna come into our butterflies, so go ahead and put the soles of your feet together, letting gravity open up your knees, opening up your hips. From here, I want you to reach your arm up, both your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, bring your hands down to your heart. One more time here, take a big deep inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale. Bring those hands down to your heart. We're just gonna do some um, more intense stretching with the hips. So what I want you to do is crawl those hands over to either the right side or the left side of your body. Doesn't really matter which sides, but just bring both hands over to either side of your body. So we're gonna get a deep stretch into the side of our right or left um, rib cage. You're gonna take a big deep inhale, lift your head up. On your exhale, go ahead and lean your body forward, trying to keep both your sit bones on the ground. So you don't want to be lifting up one um, sit bone. You want to keep them both planted onto the mat and just twisting in that body, trying to lower your head down towards the mat. Just taking a couple deep breaths here. Again, you can close your eyes if you want to come into more of a meditative state. Just holding this position with it. With each exhalation, trying to get your nose further and further towards the mat. Just opening up the sides of the body, separating the rib cage from the hips, as well as getting a nice hip stretch here. So just keep working with the breath. With each exhale, getting your face a little bit closer towards the mat. Pushing that right hip down or left hip down. Good, inhaling through the nose and out through the mouth. Nice, let's take one more breath here. And on your exhale, go ahead and start to walk your hands over towards the other side. Let's just bring both hands on over towards the opposite side, reaching far in front of you. Take a big deep inhale, looking up. And as you exhale, lowering your body down, keeping both your sit bones on the mat, not lifting one up. Really reaching those arms far out in front of you. With each exhale, trying to get closer and closer towards the mat, separating the ribs from the hips, and just breathing, starting to go within yourself, tuning into your body, see how it's feeling. If you need to modify anything, you can go ahead and modify. If something doesn't feel quite right, let this feel good on your body. Inhaling through the nose and out through the mouth.
Give it a couple more breaths here. Opening up those hips, letting those knees fall towards the mat. Reaching those arms far in front of you, trying not to shorten your line. Inhaling through the nose and out through the mouth. Here, let's take two more breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. As you exhale, go ahead and walk your hands towards the center of the mat now. So just reaching out in front of you. Really trying to send those knees further down towards the mat. Take a big inhale, lifting the chest. And as you exhale, go ahead and walk those hands forward. If you need to just come down to your elbows, that is totally okay. Take, what, take whichever posture is best for you. If you want to go deeper, keep reaching those arms further and further in front of you, trying to get your chest down towards your feet. Again, just breathing here, you can close your eyes. Really just tuning in with your body, seeing how it's feeling. At the beginning of this practice, notice which muscles are more tense, which muscles are a little bit more loose. If you need to stretch in a different way. Inhaling through the nose and out through the mouth, trying to get your chest closer and closer towards your feet with each exhale. Good, a couple more breaths here, inhaling through the nose. Sending oxygen throughout your entire body. Sending it to any areas that are holding a little bit extra tension. Good, two more breaths here, inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale as deep as you can go. Stretch a little bit further. Good, slowly start to walk your hands back towards the center of your body. This time we're gonna take a little bit more of a deeper side stretch. So go ahead and reach both arms up towards the sky. Take a big inhale. On your exhale, reaching those left fingertips down towards the mat, sending that right arm up above your body, squaring off your shoulders, so keeping your shoulders stacked on top of each other. Just getting into the side body here, really separating the rib cage from the, um, the hips as we bend further and further towards that left knee. You can tent your left fingers, or if you want to come all the way down to their elbow just to get even deeper, you can do that as well. And you can either look down towards your hand or up towards your right elbow, whichever is more comfortable for you. Again, just breathing here, trying to keep both sit bones on the ground. And just reaching that right arm further and further above your head. Good, inhale, reach both arms up. And exhale, coming down towards the other side. Bring those right hand down or right elbow down, reaching the left arm up and over your head. Taking a few deep breaths here. Stretching out that left side of the body. Good, inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, bringing your palms together and then bringing your hands down towards your heart. Good, from here we're just going to flip, bringing our feet out in front of us, sitting down on our sit bones. We're just gonna take a nice roll down with the spine. So inhale, reach both your arms forward, and on your exhale, go ahead and roll down all the way onto your mat until you're laying flat on your back. And then from here, just go ahead and tuck your knees into your chest, rocking side to side, massaging the spine. Squeezing your knees all the way into your chest. Take a couple breaths here. Good, from here I want you to keep hold of that right leg. Go ahead and extend that left leg out in front of you. You can either flex or point your foot. From here, rolling out your ankle one way and then rolling it the other way. 
We're going to take a nice um, spinal twist here. So grab that right knee with your left hand. You're going to pull it across your body as you reach your right arm across. Trying to get that left knee all the way down towards your mat. Keeping both of your shoulder blades on the mat. Sinking your, your back deeper in. And looking over that right shoulder. So take an inhale. And on your exhale, twist a little deeper. Using your hand to push that knee a little bit further down towards the mat. Twisting in your spine, letting out all those toxins. Good, inhale here. And exhale. Push it down a little further. And again, inhale. And exhale. Go a little deeper. Letting your shoulders sinking into the mat. Take another inhale. And on your exhale, go ahead and bring your knee back into your chest. We're gonna switch it out. So bringing that left knee into the chest this time, extending the right leg, rolling your ankle out a couple times, out and away from you, and back in. This time you're gonna grab your left knee with your right hand, bring it across your body, reaching that left arm out towards the side, looking over that left shoulder, keeping both shoulders on the mat, really twisting in the spine here. Inhaling, and then with your exhale, twist a little bit further. Good, inhale. And exhale. And again, inhale. And exhale a little bit further. Good, one more time, inhale. And exhale, bringing that knee back into the chest. Bringing both legs into the chest. Take a rock side to side again, massage out the spine. From here, I just want you to stretch both your legs up into the air, flexing your feet, grabbing your calves, and slowly start to pull your legs closer and closer in towards your face. It doesn't have to be anything too extreme, and it doesn't have to be super forceful. Just moving your legs a little bit closer to your face so you get a nice hamstring and calf stretch here. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling as you exhale, trying to bring your feet a little bit closer towards your head. Again, you don't have to be like pulling on your legs to get them closer to your feet. Kind of just like gravity, let your legs fold over. With your hands there for support. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling out through the mouth, sending energy out through the heels of the feet. Good. Inhale and exhale. Keep holding here, letting the blood drain down from the feet into the body. Good. Take one more inhale here. And exhale. Bring those knees back into your chest. We're going to take a few roll-ups coming into our downward dog. So go ahead and bring your hands behind your knees. You're going to roll up for one. Trying to keep your feet above the ground. So you're using a little bit of core strength here for two. And three. Rolling out through the spine. And four, go ahead and cross those ankles. Bring your hands down towards the mat, stepping back into your downward dog. Since this is our first downward dog, we're gonna go ahead and keep our knees bent here for a little bit. I really want you to focus on pushing your hands into the mat and sending that tailbone high into the sky, rotating those elbows out, sending the shoulder blades down. From here, you can walk it out. And if you want, you can go ahead and hold one leg straight. Keep the knee bent. Take a couple breaths here. Really feel that nice hamstring stretch in the left side. Good. And switch. Hold it. Keeping one knee bent. 
the other one straight and pushing your hands into the mat. Sending that sternum down. Good again, switch it out, hold it. And again, switching it out, holding it again. Pushing one heel into the mat, lifting the other heel up. Nice, now just walk it out from here. We're gonna do a couple of wave-like motions with the body, so what I want you to do is on your inhale, rolling forward into your high plank, and on exhale, push back into downward dog. Good, inhale, roll forward into your high plank, and exhale, pushing back into downward dog. Just kind of moving with the breath here, rolling throughout the entire body. Loosening up the spine, loosening up the shoulders. Inhaling as you come through plank. And exhale as you push back into downward dog. Good, do it a couple more times here. Really moving with the breath. Make this fluid, make this nice and easy on your body. Good, let's do it one more time. Inhale, rolling through into your high plank position and exhale pushing back into your downward dog nice walk out the dog again take a couple deep breaths here then on your next inhale i want you to send that right leg up towards the sky flex the foot and on your exhale go ahead and bring that right knee into the chest stepping through in between your hands we're going to come into a low lunge so i want you to place your left knee down on the mat untuck your left um, toes sending your tailbone down pulling that right hip back and the left hip forward. To start off, I want you to just place your fingertips down on the mat. So you're really sitting up nice and tall and you're really pushing this side of your left hip down. Take a couple breaths here. Feeling that energy coming out from the top of your head, keeping this right knee over your right ankle. Looking straight in front of you, concentrating on sending that tailbone down towards the mat. Inhale and exhale. Good, with each exhale, sending those hips down further and further. Take a big deep inhale and exhale. One more time, inhale. And on your exhale, I want you to bring both of your hands on the inside of your right foot and you're gonna walk your right foot, heel toe it out all the way towards the edge of your mat. From there, I want you to roll your foot out onto the, onto the edge of it. So you're gonna roll it out onto your pinky. So you're really opening in that right hip. We're gonna come into our lizard pose. And then from here, you can go ahead and drop down all the way to your elbow. So you're pushing this right knee out towards the side, rolling over those, those um, or your right pinky toe, sending your hips down, coming down onto your elbows. We're gonna hold this posture for a little bit. So go ahead, you can close your eyes. Start to tune in with your body again, seeing how much tension you're holding in your hips, where you need to send oxygen in order to loosen up your body. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling out through the mouth. With each exhale, trying to get those hips further and further down towards the mat. Good, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale, sending oxygen to wherever you're holding any tension. Breathe into the uncomfort. You can rock side to side here just to massage the hip out a little bit if that feels good. If you need to relax your neck and head a little bit, you can go ahead and clasp your fingertips together and put Place your forehead over top of your fingertips if you need to rest your neck. Or if not, you can just keep holding this elbow position. Okay, we're gonna hold, hold here for a couple more breaths. Inhaling deep through the nose, exhaling out through the mouth. 
really opening up these hips here. And again, inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhale. And on your exhale, slowly start to bring your body back up. So placing your hands back on the mat, rolling over so you're placing your foot all the way onto the mat. Heel till your foot back in so it's centered. Go ahead and tuck those left feet, sending those hips back up. And I want you to just step straight back into your downward facing dog. Nice. Walk it out here a little bit. Loosen up that hip. Take a couple deep breaths here. Again, pushing those hands into the mat, sending the heels down, bringing that tailbone up towards the sky. Okay, we're gonna repeat those lunges on the left side. So on your next inhale, go ahead and reach that left leg up towards the sky. And on your exhale, bringing that left knee into your chest, stepping in between your hands, sending that right knee down towards the mat, untucking those right toes. Starting off by placing our fingertips on the mat, sitting straight up, so we're really sending that tailbone down. Making sure that left knee is staying over the left ankle and you're squaring off those hips. You're pulling that left hip back and the right hip forward. Okay, just staying here, taking a couple deep breaths. See if there's a difference on either side of your body. Was one side a bit more tense? Is this side more loose? Breathing into any tension, trying to loosen up the body a little bit more. Good, inhale and exhale, send those hips down further. And again, inhale and exhale. One more time, inhale and exhale, sending those hips down. Good, bringing both of those hands onto the inside of your left foot walking that left foot out towards the far left side of your mat rolling on to the side of the pinky toe from here take a big deep inhale and on your exhale start to walk down towards your elbows really opening up the left hip here so that left knee is shooting out towards the side you're rolling over those left pinky placing your elbows down on the mat sending those right hip down to the mat good from here, you can close your eyes, tuning into your body, seeing where any tension is. Notice your hip opening more and more as you keep breathing. Again, if you want to rest your head and neck, you can go ahead and clasp, clasp your hands together and bring your head down towards your fingers. If not, you can go ahead and stay up on your elbows. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling out through the mouth. Holding these postures so you really get the full benefit of these deep, intense stretches. Good, and again. Keep inhaling and exhaling through the nose and out through the mouth. Sending oxygen throughout your entire body. Breathing into the discomfort. Letting it all go. Nice, a couple more breaths here. Take two more deep breaths here. Inhaling through the nose. And exhale, send those hips down, opening up that left knee. Good, one more, inhale. And exhale as deep as you can go. Nice, slowly start to walk your body back up. So bringing those hands back onto the mat. Heel toe your left foot in back so it's centered off. Tucking your right toes under, lifting the right knee. Go ahead and send those hips up into your downward dog. Nice. Walk it out here on the spot. See the difference in how your hips feel, how your quads feel. Do they feel more loose? 
they're still a little bit tight. Breathe into those areas. Nice, we're gonna do those wave-like motions just one more time, just to loosen up the body. So on your inhale, go ahead and roll into your high plank and exhale, push it back into downward dog. And again, inhale. Rolling forward and exhale, push it back. Make this fluid, make it nice and easy. Just rolling through your spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, and then pushing that tailbone up into the sky. Good, inhale, rolling forward. Exhale, push back into your downward dog. We're gonna hold our downward dog here just for a little bit. So I really want you to push those heels down to the mat and try to straighten your legs as much as you can. So you really get that full hamstring and calf stretch. Rotating the shoulder blades out or the elbows out and pushing the shoulder blades down towards the base of your spine and pushing your hands into the mat as you send your sternum down. Good, take a big deep inhale. On your exhale, push a little bit further. Nice, inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale, as deep as you can go. Good, from here, go ahead and just place your knees back down onto the mat. We're gonna come into an easy child pose, but this time I want you to open up your knees. So go ahead and open both knees up so they're about the width of your mat. Take a big deep inhale, start to walk your hands forward. This time, so you're sinking your body in between your legs. Really opening up those hips here as we separate our knees, sending that chest down towards the mat. Giving yourself a little break here. Closing your eyes, reaching those hands far in front of you. Inhale and exhale, trying to get that tailbone down and your chest onto the mat. Good, closing your eyes here, just tune into yourself. How's your body feeling? Is it starting to feel more loose, a little bit more awake? Inhale and exhale. Good, one more time, inhale. And exhale, start to walk your fingertips back towards the center, sitting up nice and tall. Go ahead and bring both knees in together. We're gonna do our puppy stretch so we can stretch out the shoulders and a little bit of the back. So from here, I want you to just come up onto all fours, making sure your knees are hip width distance apart. Coming into the center of your mat, from all you're gonna do is reach both those fingertips out a little bit further in front of you. You're gonna push back as you send those hips up towards the sky. So you're really getting a nice stretch in the um, biceps and your shoulders here. Stretching the arms, looking up in front of you, you can place your chest down on the mat. Send that tailbone nice and high up into the sky. Just taking a couple breaths here. Loosening up the front of the body, the chest, the shoulders, a little bit of the back too. Inhale and exhale. Nice, one more time, inhale. And exhale, go ahead and roll your body forward, placing your stomach down onto the mat. And we're gonna come into our upper dog. So place both hands underneath your shoulders we're gonna lift our chest up. You can walk back a little bit and lift our knees and hips up off the mat. So getting a nice back stretch here, sending your chest up towards the sky. You can look up, take a big deep inhale and exhale, trying to get those thighs up off the mat, inhale. Nice and on your exhale, send those hips back up into your downward dog. Nice, let out a big breath here. Feel the difference in your spine, in your shoulders, in your chest. Nice, go ahead and look up towards the front of your mat. Take about four, maybe six steps, slowly all the way until you get towards the front of your mat. We're gonna come into a seated position, so just sit back onto your glutes. Stretch both legs out in front of you, wiggle your knees, shake them out.
Go ahead and remove any excess scent skin out from underneath your sit bones. Sitting up nice and tall, flex both of your feet. We're going to reach those arms up and on an exhale, diving down towards the mat. So from here, if this is as far as you can go, that is totally okay. Do whatever feels best for you. But with each exhale, I want you to try to go further and further, really getting into this stretch. We're going to hold this posture for quite a little bit. So get comfortable. Take a few deep breaths here. And on your exhale, Go a little bit further. If you can, you can go ahead and try to wrap your arms around your feet, grabbing your wrist or your fingertips. Or maybe you're only able to grab your feet or maybe your ankles. Take whichever um, modification is best for you. But we're just gonna be holding this posture and breathing in. And hopefully you'll be able to loosen up more and go even further with each exhale. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling out through the mouth, sending that nose down towards your knees, flattening out that back. So again, here you really want to think about lengthening out to the top of your head. You don't want a big curvature in your spine. You want to flatten that back out, sending energy out from the crown of your head. And just bending forward here, we can close our eyes, come into a meditative state. Like I said, we're going to be holding this posture for a little bit, so... You can go ahead and close your eyes, start to calm your breath, calm your mind, let go of any other unwanted thoughts. Just come into the present moment, feeling this nice hamstring and calf stretch. Allowing your body to fall forward more and more with each exhale. Trying to get that nose towards your knees. Maybe trying to get your wrist to wrap around your feet. If you need to have a little bit of a micro bend in your knees to help support, you can totally do that as well. Just keep breathing here, trying to get yourself to go further and further each time you exhale. Inhale through the nose, and exhale, out through the mouth, and again, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, try to go even further. Breathing in to any tension, sending oxygen so you can loosen up your body more and more. Get a couple more breaths here. Inhaling through the nose, out through the mouth. Let's take two more breaths here. Good job. Keep inhaling. Go ahead, inhale. And exhale. Go a little bit further. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Go as deep as you can go. Get on your next hill. Go ahead and slowly start to lift that chest up. Walking your fingertips back towards the center of your body. Shake those legs out, give those hamstrings a rest. You can bend forward, shake out those legs. Nice. From here, we're gonna come into a bit more of a glute stretch. So actually, you can go ahead and face the center of your mat or come towards the center of your mat. You're going to first bend this left leg, bringing the knee in front of you, tucking this foot in towards your glute. And then you're going to bring that right knee over cross that left knee. So coming into a bit of a shoelace posture. So if your knees are a little bit more up, that is totally okay. If you want, you could place even like a block or a pillow under just to add that little bit of extra support. But from here, what we're trying to do is just stack both knees on top of each other until they're flat down. You can either keep your feet a little bit more separated. That's a little bit um, 
more of an intense stretch. If you need to modify, you can bring those feet closer in towards the sides of your body. I'm gonna go ahead and bring them out. And then from here, we're gonna, again, just hold this posture for quite some time. So take a big, deep inhale. And on your exhale, start to walk your body forward. If this already feels like a lot, you are more than welcome to just sit staying um, straight up. However, if you want more of an, a deep, intense stretch, you can go ahead and start to walk your hands in front of you, reaching far, sending that chest down, keeping both glutes on the mat, just letting your body fold over, trying not to hold any tension in the head or the neck, just letting it hang loose. You can shake out your head if you need to here. Letting your chest fall over your knees. Should, you should really feel it in the sides of your glutes here. And this is a really great stretch to do if you've been sitting a lot. Maybe where you work, you're having to sit at a desk all day, or if you've been driving all day, this is a really good stretch to just kind of loosen up your glutes and your sit bones. Good, just inhaling and exhaling here. Again, just tuning into your body, noticing how it feels, noticing what tension is leaving out of your body with each exhale. Noticing how your muscles are warming up a little bit more. Good, inhale and exhale. And again, inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale, go ahead and slowly start to walk those hands back towards the center of your body. Untuck those legs. From here, just once you do some windshield wipers, just to kind of loosen up the body. So go ahead and just bring your knees over to either side. Opening up your hips again, just taking a little break in between sides. Nice, and then from here, this time, you're just gonna tuck that right leg in, bringing that knee in front of you, setting that left knee over top the right. Again, if you wanna have your feet a little bit out in front of you or more to the side for a bit more of an intense stretch, you can do so. However, if you need to modify, you can go ahead and bring those feet closer in towards your glutes. Take whichever modification you need. We're gonna start by sitting up nice and tall. Take a big, deep inhale. As you exhale, slowly start to walk your fingertips forward, keeping both sit bones down on the mat. Reaching those arms far in front of you, sending your head down. Again, notice if one side is a little bit more intense than the other. If it is, breathe into that. Send oxygen to wherever you're holding tension in. Let your body just fall over top of your knees. Nice, inhale through the nose. And exhale out through the mouth, inhale through the nose, and exhale, and again, inhale, exhale, letting your body fall further and further towards your knees, Good job, guys. Let's take two more breaths here. Inhale deep through the nose. Send oxygen out towards your glutes. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Walk those fingertips back towards the center of your body. Go ahead, bring those knees in front of you. Let's do some windshield wipers just to loosen up the legs. Nice. Hopefully your glutes and your hips are feeling nice and loose now. Less tension. This is a good practice to do early in the morning if you really wanna just open up all those muscles. Send blood, oxygen out through all your entire body. 
good from here our final posture we're just going to come into a recline butterfly just to finish off so go ahead and bring both knees out in front of you reach your arms forward rolling down towards your mat using the strength of your core then from here sinking your bat into back into the max into the mat <laughs> You can bring the soles of your feet together, opening up those knees and just coming into our reclined butterfly. Again, from here, letting gravity just bring your knees down. You don't want to add any extra pressure. You just want to let your knees fall open naturally, keeping the base of your spine into the mat. So you don't want a big arch. You want to be able to push your spine down into the mat. So you're having to tuck a little bit here. And then you can either have your hands laying flat on the mat, or if you want to rest them lightly over your thighs with your palms up, that's also okay. So from here, we're going to close our eyes. We're going to, again, just keep breathing. A lot of breath work today, just filling your body with as much oxygen as you can. Go ahead, take a big, deep inhale. And exhale. Trying to let your knees open out to the side with each exhale. Take a big inhale, filling up your stomach. And exhale, sending energy to the base of your spine. Good, and again, inhale. And exhale. Two more times here, inhale. Exhale, let your knees gently fall open to the side. One more time. Take a big, deep inhale through the nose. And exhale, letting it all go. Very nice from here. Slowly open your eyes and you're gonna to start to bring your knees together. You can use the support of your hands to bring them in. Stretching your arms up above your head. Give yourself a good stretch. You can stretch your legs out. Give yourself a nice stretch. Feeling that opposition throughout the entire body, releasing the rib cage. Good. On your exhale, go ahead and roll over to one side. Coming up back into our seated position, like how we started this practice. We're gonna close off again, just taking a couple deep breaths. This time we're just gonna reach the arms up to our prayer position. Inhale, and then on your exhale, go ahead and bring your hands down towards the center of your heart. Good, again, inhale, follow your hands with your eyes here. Really connecting yourself to your body. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Let's do it one more time, inhale. Give yourself a big stretch here. Hold these arms up separated for a little bit, inviting all that positive, loving energy into your body. Slowly start to bring your hands together. On your exhale, bringing your hands down back towards your heart. Go ahead, bowing down to yourself, thanking yourself for such a wonderful, deep practice today. I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for joining me in today's practice. If you want more content, you can go ahead and download our Yoga Plus app, which is located in the description below. Welcome to Yoga Plus. Courses available from pupil to yogi. Sort by yoga, fitness, and instructors. Create your own routines. Access the Pose Library. Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth available on Google Play and the App Store. Join us for 14 and 30 day programs, hour long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts. 